Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for September 16th, 2019. Holy cow, it's hard to believe that we're halfway through the month of September already with wild and crazy price action continuing in this market. So what happened? Well, um, as you guys um, know, I, I typically talk pretty cautiously about heading into any weekend um, of the market. I would think about taking some of those profits and pulling some of those trades off because of the uncertainty of that weekend. And we certainly got some of that uncertainty this weekend. First off, I'm certain that you've heard of the um, oil, uh, oil fields attacks in Saudi Arabia um, claimed by Iran. And that has certainly created a bit of a disruption in oil. Obviously, um, uh, there's damage over there, significant damage over there to be, re re be repaired. It's according to the stories about 5% of um, their world production has been destroyed. But that has um, facilitated the shutdown of nearly 50% of their oil fields production. So we're seeing uh, much higher crude prices this morning as they begin to spike. In reaction to that, the president has opened the strategic reserve to try and help alleviate that price spike that is likely to occur in uh, the markets. We also have the UAW putting 48,000 um, GM workers on strike this weekend, although they are expected to continue to negotiate uh, this week. So who knows, maybe it won't be long lasting, but um, according to reports, they are really a long ways off on um, wages and health care and things like that. So pretty interesting events. Now, typically we are heading into, this is an FOMC week. We're, we're heading into an FOMC announcement and their forecasts, which are expected to come out 2 p.m. on Wednesday. And this market just loves, uh, all markets love um, the, the thought of lower rates, uh, free money. And, um, it's going to be interesting to see how the market reacts today. Rising oil prices um, are one thing, but one has to wonder what comes next. What comes after? What's the military response that's likely to occur um, after an attack on world energy production? Uh, that's going to be really, really um causing some tensions in different places. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. And, and it would be surprising to me if there wasn't some type of military response. Um, it may not be from the U.S., but some type of military response that could disrupt that region even more. So kind of keep that in mind. It's what comes next that's really the concerning point. So let's take a look and see what's going on here in the market. Obviously, we are very, very close to breaking all-time highs here in um, in the Dow. We've come really, really close to breaking into a new all-time high range here, but just not quite able to do it. And after a very strong eight-day rally, leaving gaps behind and far now with a 50-day moving average far below, we do have the concern of a pullback, kind of an overbought pullback. This move this morning gapping us down about 100 points, um, which is significantly better than it was overnight, um, now has us wondering what this is going to be like up here. Will this end up being a double top high? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Now, we're, it's going to be kind of an interesting um, watch here this morning. Will we get the pressure from the bears to sell this back down, to pull us back down towards support? Or will the bulls have just an, have enough energy to hold this, continue to hold this up in hope of uh, rate cuts and things like that? Will that be enough to hold the market up? Could be an interesting day for sure as we look at this market. But just know that we are a bit stretched overall. 
a pullback would not be out of the question. And then you add in the, you know, like I said, the what comes next uh, scenario. Um, we could see those bears come out. Um, they've been uh, they've been denied uh, their ability to eat here for the last nine or ten days. Um, they may decide to rally just a little bit today and um, push this market lower. We'll have to see. It'll be an interesting battle. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, SPY made that new record high, um, but it was unable to hold it, has been unable to hold it uh into the close of the day and it's probably just because we've just been buying 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 and the market needs a little bit of a rest and pullback now this morning we are getting that gap down here in the spy we'll have to watch that pretty closely will those bears come in i don't know i think there's a lot of uncertainty this morning as to how the market will actually react will we see more selling i don't know and and the other thing that we have to consider is rising oil prices are going to not only put pressure on the u.s but it's going to put severe pressure on those economies in europe that are where we've we've seen here recently that germany is worried about sliding into recession higher oil prices is certainly going to affect those and then of course the pressures that are going on in china um, all of their oil imports uh, just went up a bunch today and that is going to be an interesting situation as they're challenged as Hong in Hong Kong and also with the tariff situation it's going to put more and more pressure on those regions so could be very interesting as we move forward to see what what all shakes out from this so be real watchful here of the spy uh, gapping down if that were to to continue to sell off obviously that fills this gap right here and puts us back below some resistance levels in, in the spy chart let's take a look at the cues now the cues are also responding lower and all, probably not a big surprise here that they're responding lower with everything going on here in the market and and the antitrust suit, suits and things going on here responding a little bit lower could be one of our first to pull back toward that 50-day moving average let's hope that all holds as support down in there and right now we're showing truly a failure this is a double top high failure or a lower high failure here on the queue. So the pattern is true. Although we're holding this trend, we are showing that potential of a queue's failure pattern here. And we have to respect that in this chart. Let's hope we get nice uh, nice support down here in this area as we have all of these moving averages tied up right here um, trying to hold on to that price if we really start to sink hard so watch that close let's take a look at um, IWM IWM big big rally in response to um, to everything all this rotation that's been going on in the market big big sweeping rally coming up and now the question is now that we've broken through that big downtrend will it hold as support that's what we have to watch for um, in the next day in the days ahead will it hold as support or will we just sink right back down and that that could be a question now we had a big big um, wick on this candle up here leaving not the not the best looking uh pattern for a top and a little bit of a gap down this morning so we'll watch that closely if that begins to sell off let's take a look at the spy excuse me not the spy the vix the VIX, pretty interesting chart here on the VIX. We have just been falling and falling and falling as if there's no fear at all in this market. No, no concerns. Everyone is just um, believing that governments are going to prop everything up and that may very well be true and that's just continuing to drop this fear our fear back down here around a 13 handle um, which is really kind of amazing considering we don't have any kind of a trade deal with china and all the issues that are going on out there where this calmness in the market is coming from is a little bit surprising to me but we could probably expect that to push up today now if that pushes up, we're going to watch this level right in here for resistance in the chart. If that holds as resistance, I think we're in great shape. Um, shouldn't be any problem here. We also have a little bit of a downtrend 
resistance right here. So if we do happen to break above that level of resistance right there in price, right up in here could be that next level of price and, and we could still find that resistance pushing us back down. So we we'll wanna watch those technical levels in the chart. If we really begin to spike, that could be a problem, but right now I don't see that as being an issue. There's really, uh, right now, now the market is just not at all fearful. Let's take a look at um, T2122. T2122 is a four week new high, new low ratio. And as you can see, we reached up here into that bearish reversal zone. And this is, by the way, is a very, very good indicator for telling us overbought or oversold regions. It doesn't tell us when we're, we should expect a downturn. It doesn't tell us um, you know, anything like that. It just tells us when we've kind of overreached to the upside or overreached to the downside. And you can see last week we, we had really overreached on that gap up open on Friday, overreached to the upside, and we saw some sellers coming in. Now I expect this gap down this morning to move us um, significantly lower here in T2122. So not, you know, not terrible damage or technical damage here on the chart, just that the pullback was likely to occur. And uh, certainly uh, the oil attacks are hastening that move. So be very careful. Um, um, what I don't want to see is I don't want to see us continue to just going whipping straight up and straight back down, straight up and straight back down. I, I'd like to see a little bit of calmness come into the market, whether we'll get that with all this uncertainty um, with oil now that's yet to be uh, determined so pretty interesting chart so with that everyone hey let's take a look at our economic calendar for uh today and our economic calendar today really doesn't have a whole lot going on we do have the empire state manufacturing survey coming out at 8 30 um certainly can move the market around but wouldn't be expected to move it a bunch unless it was a major surprise but the rest of this week we have a lot um, on our plate we have that industrial production coming in here um, on Tuesday and then Wednesday is the big day um, with FOMC and FOMC forecast the Fed chairman's report housing is in here petroleum status which could be an interesting number this week it's going to be um, an interesting week in the market for sure so keep an eye on that economic calendar as we move into those important dates um, on the earnings front we had about 21 companies reporting earnings today but I don't see anything in that list uh, today that would be particularly notable mostly very very small cap companies reporting probably nothing that will really move the market around significantly today so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a great day in your trading um if this is the first time you've seen these videos could you do me a favor and click that subscribe button that subscribe button and then and then there'll be a pop-up um that um you want to click that little bell icon so that you will be notified every time i post one of these videos folks the purpose of these videos is not to predict anything and i hope you find that helpful because i can tell you over my last 14 years as a full-time trader doing this market preparation has helped me a ton and keeping my um, keeping my thinking straight and removing the emotion from my trading and helping me focus in on what I need to be focused on as I move into the open and how I might want to approach the market for the day so if you find that helpful could you please also click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment any comment helps uh, the algorithm show these videos to more people and i want to say thank you to everyone who does that you guys are absolutely awesome i truly truly appreciate that thank you very much so with that let's take a look at some stocks that uh, may be setting up uh, things that we might want to be watching i would suggest a little bit of caution this morning the emotion of the market's going to be a little bit high this morning we could see some pretty whippy type price actions uh, uh first thing here in the morning so let's watch 
pretty closely and um, be a little bit careful on how we're going to move forward. Let's take a look um, right out of the box here. Let's take a look at Facebook. Now, Facebook has been trying to make this little trend going up, but I think there may be a bit of a problem here. We're running into some price resistance. And of course, we know that we have, um, we have this problem going on with Facebook um, now under investigation of the federal government. Watching uh, this trend right here, I think is gonna be really important. This is a possibility of a little double top failure. With the market looking lower this morning, this might push itself on down. So keep an eye on that. And then if you take a close look here and maybe draw this out, this hat is the potential of a head and shoulders top. So watch that closely. Uh, Facebook's not looking, um, well, it's looking like it could be facing some challenges. So watch that closely in those price patterns. Take a look at Target though. Target's been holding up really, really well, really, really strong. Saw a little pullback here on Friday, but as you can see, and looks like it, it could push a little bit lower this morning, but watch this little level of supporting here. Target gapped and moved big on earnings report, and now it's resting up here. Might wanna watch this up here as this continues to rest to see if there's that opportunity. It can um, gain its, you know, catch its breath and finally move on higher. So watching that one pretty closely might be worth um, a look. Take a look at um, KAR here. KAR now showing a failure pattern um, here at this high. And KAR has been one I've, I've watched quite a bit, but notice that trend. We're starting to show a little bit of challenges up here with this big shooting star top, um, a bearish engulfing failure pattern here over on this side, and now pushing down into this trend. If this can hold in this trend, great if this can hold on to this area, but I gotta think this is starting to show a bit of a problem here overall on KAR and could definitely start moving this stock lower. So watch that close. Um, seeing, seeing signs in stocks like DEL. DEL had been rising up really sharply and I'm seeing this in a lot of stocks. One of the things I always watch for are these downtrend areas in a stock. And we rally up into these areas and you can measure this in a couple different ways. Either we ran into that resistance and we're pulling back, we broke through that resistance and we're pulling back to hold as support. Let's watch that closely. Dell uh, pulling back into this area. Um, could be challenged here, and, and I'm seeing that at a lot of downtrend uh, levels um, where we've just run up really, really hard, either just breaking just through or slamming into that resistance and starting to turn back around. So watch those closely. Take a look at stocks like WDC. Now WDC has been on a, an amazing run, um, just really, really strong in this move. And now you can see might be taking a little bit of a break, a little bit of a rest in here. If that could hold above this level of price support, hold on maybe into this trend area, then we want to watch WDC for that potential to move higher. But don't be too surprised if this has to rest several days in here after such an extraordinary run um, up um, in that chart. So watch that pretty closely. With the market showing a little bit of uncertainty this morning, we, we might want to look back to some of those old standards like uh, PepsiCo. PepsiCo holding up pretty well overall in this trend. And with the uncertainty in the market, we may see a little bit of a move towards some of these defensive sector stocks. So keep an eye on this PepsiCo, a nice trend pulling back, holding in um, up and above this trend if we get some buyers stepping in. Let's watch for that. Um, Coke, Coke maybe, but Coke um, kind of broke 
in the way I've drawn, got this drawn, and you could draw this several different ways. If we pulled this out, Coco's holding right at trend. I tighten it up to get a few more touches to that line and I see Coke as potentially failing, failing its trend. So this is gonna have to come back around pretty good or we end up with that lower high and that potential of that failure here in Coca-Cola. So keep an eye on that, but another one of those defensive sector plays, um, we'll have to wait and see how that comes around. So with that everyone, hey, I wanna wish you all a great day. I wanna wish you great profits. Once again, I want to thank everyone who takes the time to click that subscribe button, leave a comment, um, click those thumbs up buttons. You guys are awesome. Thank you very, very much. I truly, truly appreciate it. I want to wish you all a great day and we'll talk to you all right back here. We'll see you all right back here, bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.